In Haiti, a group of handcuffed men were paraded before the media on Thursday. Suspects, police said, in the assassination of President Jovenel Moïse. Authorities called them a commando unit, trained and heavily armed, and said they were all foreigners, including 26 Colombians and two Haitian Americans. Also on display, assault rifles, machetes, bolt cutters, and Colombian passports. Police held the press event following a raid on a house near the scene of the crime. They said three suspects have been killed, with eight still on the run. Moise was fatally shot at his home Wednesday. A massive blow for a country already struggling with crushing poverty, political chaos, and gang violence. Colombia's defense minister said there was preliminary evidence that the Colombian suspects were retired military. The national government, our police and army have given instructions for immediate collaboration. The complete cooperation of our forces is with our fellow Republic of Haiti. Authorities have identified the American suspects, but the U.S. State Department has not confirmed they are citizens. Haiti's police claim the local community helped track down the suspected killers, but have called for residents not to take justice into their own hands. After a violent crowd gathered at the Port-au-Prince police station where the suspects were being held. President Moïse had faced mass protests against his rule, accused of corruption and refusing to let go of power. Authorities declared a state of emergency following his killing. But interim Prime Minister Claude Joseph on Thursday said it was time to reopen the economy and called for the airport to restart operations.